first of all, um, they have to want to be involved and the, the person with dementia needs to want that too. I think that's the first thing to say, because not everybody does. Often uh, over the years, I've heard, you know, people with dementia say how how um, one of the awful things is how people sort of drop by the wayside because, and that's often because they don't know that they don't know what to do or what to say and they're, they're frightened of doing the wrong thing or saying the wrong thing. Often we'll hear from people with dementia who will say that, you know, at the point of receiving a diagnosis and throughout that journey, that social networks especially can dwindle. Um, and sometimes I think it's out of that fear of knowing how to perhaps support that person or the wrong assumption that when a person's diagnosed or is living with dementia that they can't do the things that they they do before yes we know there can be some changes but it is about family and friends coming together as a unit um having that communication about what that dementia means for the person with the person um, and how they still want those family and friends to be involved um and we do know that you know as people live with dementia there might be additional support they need to remain engaged with family and friends or participate in those activities that they did before but it is about not stopping in those it's about doing them maybe a little bit differently and I'm a great believer in in having an activity as a vehicle for the interaction um, it's very difficult just to arrive on the scene and not know what to do or what to say but if you've got something in between you as, as that 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 um, connector uh, and something that you've got in common particularly I suppose um, that you're both going to enjoy then I think you know the good times flow don't they giving them something meaningful to do just helps um, everything to, to go so much better that then everybody feels positive and then want to come back of course as well. People feel most comfortable in roles that there's an element of, of enabling the, the main carer to have a break uh, but understanding exactly what your role is and, and how you're going to do that and, and ways of coping within that role. So I, I think it's, it's sort of knowing what we can do and what we can't do and having those open conversations with each other and saying, OK, well, what I really need you to do is to, to sit with dad for, for half an hour or for an hour and, and, and have a pint of beer with him because I don't drink beer. You no, know, and, and talk about the rugby. What would be really lovely would be to, to take mum to a garden and, and, and walk around a garden because then she'll start telling you all about the flowers and the, the names of the flowers. So I think it's having very clear guidance about you know sort of what what might you do what would you enjoy doing with mum or dad um and how will that fit in and I think when people are given roles and and they know how that's going to work but they also know how to respond if it's not working then that probably works the best yeah it's really interesting because it's making me think that um another sort of group of people who tend to to like roles as young children yep. and so I'm wondering if a way of of involving the sort of younger generation for that intergenerational um relationship is to sort of it give them little tasks even if it's just you're in charge of making sure that that granddad always has a full glass of water next to him or you know reminding him to drink and then you've got that that sort of buzz of responsibility as well Absolutely. No, I, you, you, you need to be able to demonstrate to grandma that you can read a book now. So, no, and, and that's a lovely thing to do. No, Granny, I'd like to read to you. Um, no, how lovely is that? Or Granny, I, I need to go to the toilet. Can you walk out with me? No, because actually, then we keep the person mobile. I think one of the lovely things, if there are any lovely things that have come out of COVID, has kind of been this intergenerational um, relationship, perhaps, that's been built either through grandchildren, um, younger children, or even children within kind of the wider social circle, just generally. Um, as you know, because of COVID and public health restrictions, a lot of things have moved online. And I've seen firsthand a lot of experiences where grandchildren have kind of showed how to use Zoom, how to download, how to get, um, you know, even knowing what phone to choose and being able to do FaceTime so people can keep that social interaction. It's having a goal or a focus and, and uh, you know, a, a goal might be, you know, when I'm with um, mum or whoever it is today, um, I'm going to um, 
see if I can make her smile. You know, it could be such a simple goal. And once you've got that sort of idea in your head, then the focus becomes on that. The one thing that I would say is, no, if you've if you've committed to a role, you must do it because otherwise the carer won't trust. I, I think it's it is really important that when roles are assigned, they need to be realistic. You know, it's it's like anything else that you, that you do. You know, if you if you know that person's not going to be able to do it every week, then don't expect them to do it every week. If you're making an agreement that they will phone their you know, the relative on such and such a day, well, actually, that's great, but don't make it onerous. It needs to be something that's achievable. Family and friends know the person with dementia best, and there's some lovely memories, some lovely activities that they have always been doing prior to dementia that they can um continue um to do where there are changes it's about coming together and like I said that word unity is really important for me um, and having those open conversations that enable people to still do the things that they did before not disable them um, and that being something that the whole network supports.